Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, I have something really fun to share with you today. But before I get into that, it's a marketplace journal. But before I get into that, I just wanted a quick mention that I have three packs of coffee dyed vintage children's storybook pages. They're pretty much just text. I think there might be one or two small pictures, but they're vintage and um, they're coffee dyed really nicely. So they're really nice to make envelopes out of or put into your journals. And I just love how they're all children's stories. So the link for that will be in my shop and the description box down below. So this journal was sent to me from Anne and um, I, <laughs> this, this journal gets its own video. Let me see if I can, because you have to see how incredibly huge this is. When I saw this, I was totally blown away. Um, yeah, look at how crazy big that is. It's so beautiful. There's so much to it. Look at, here's a, a dangle charm. You can see there's a little uh, skull and a heart and keys and coins and star and feather. A whole bunch of goodness. It does come with, um, and I'll put these in a little baggie, but it does come with a bunch of extra goodies and trims for you to use in the journal that she put together. Um, the tie, there's feathers and beads on that. It's, I think it's quite expandable. This is quite a long tie. I'm not even sure which way this goes. I'm pretty sure this is the front. And it wraps around. It looks like it was made from a green file folder. Do I have this the right way? <laughs> I think I do. Okay, so, yeah. So it is huge, 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 huge. Gray Wolf Designs, that's her, as 222 pages, um, pockets and tags and journaling room and lace and sari ribbon and all of that. So let's just get into it and explore it just a little bit because there's so much. This, um, you can like tuck things in here and then use the Velcro to close up that um, little pocket there. There's lots of, like, when you talk junk journal, this is like a true junk journal. It is repurposing. Look at, like, there's cardboard and there's little pockets with, I think, okay, this comes, I think this whole, this is like a book that can come out. Yeah. So it's an extra book in the front that has this elastic holding it in. It can slide out. And you could replace it with something else or you could, um, you know, do whatever you wanted with it. So there's a booklet, like a calendar booklet um, that goes through 2019 in this pocket here. There's lots of scraps and bits and pieces. It's really like grungy and um, junk. I mean, this is a true junk journal. It has so much in it. It's raggedy and tattered. Like, there's so much history. Um, it would make a great story type journal. Little bits and pieces. Okay, so now these ones, are, these signatures are actually sewn into the cover. So there's a Velcroed piece here with some uh, little scraps. Really cool. That's a really pretty belly band. And then there's this big tag that slips in there. There's doily. This has, um, it's like a texture paste. You can feel it's raised, the butterflies. There's tracing paper. Look at this beautiful beaded charm that goes on this here. It is a true junk journal, like repurposed stuff. It is really cool. Cause this is like cardboard on the back and then uh, card or scrapbook paper on the front. Lots of room. This would be so much fun to work in. I think it would literally take at least a year for me to fill it, but it would be so much fun too. I think the size is really nice. It's kind of like a little bit of a gypsy theme too. I think she called it gypsy. Oh, 
Oh, wow, really pretty here. So giant, giant like journaling card or photo mat. The edges are all like distressed and inked. It's beaded. Look at how pretty those beads are. And this is like a top loading pocket page. This is like an envelope that's been repurposed. Oh, look at that cute little like door she made. There's an actual screen on that. Here's a little paper bag. There's nothing in it, but it's huge. You could stuff a lot of photos or other things in there. It's like a treasure hunt. You don't know every page is different. You never know. Look at this is all hand sewn around this. And there's like corrugated cardboard. It's just really neat. Very, very unique. I have not ever seen one like this. There's little coins. Here's another big gypsy bohemian type journal card. Everything is really distressed and grunged up. Here's another journal card. Really pretty lace belly band. There's like different weights of paper. Another giant tag there. Okay, and this is handmade by Grey Wolf. So let's see what's in this back pocket. Just, just goodies, goodies that you can use. Little pieces of paper. There's some more corrugated cardboard. Just different things that you can use to really turn this into a really cool art slash junk journal. Really pretty beading again on this journal card. Looks like there's sorry trim. Trying not to sniffle into the camera. I've, this cold is not giving up on me. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little door that opens with little like windows. Very unique. I know this is going to be a treasure for someone. More beading. Beautiful, beautiful beading. This is like texture paste um, feathers. It is a huge book. It's like a ribbon bookmark. Tracing paper. Okay, so we have another top loading page with a giant journal card and then another Velcro. As you can see, it's like a repurposed envelope. Big pocket there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at how pretty. And this is all like trash. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but in a beautiful junk journal way. It, to me, this looks like a paper towel or napkin in the background. You've got corrugated cardboard. You've got like a, almost handmade papers or scraps of papers, heart, a doily, beads, sorry, silk. It, I mean, that is how you turn trash into absolute beauty and it is no longer trash it has been recycled it has a new loving home so here is just a paper bag and some more bits and pieces that you can use in the journal that one's really pretty too big big journal card there and then here is the back and like i said it comes with there's a whole bunch of trims in here. It comes with, these look like they're handmade paper beads. She's made a bunch of uh, embellishments. I'm dropping stuff. A bunch of embellishments. And all of these come with it so that you can use them throughout the journal. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, you can click on my shop link below and purchase this monster beauty. And then this just folds. See, look at how much you can expand it because it folds over by inches. So you can definitely bulk this up and it will still close. You could definitely, definitely expand this by a lot. So I think that is really cool and really unique. So thank you so much, Anne, for creating this for us to see. And, um, I think there's probably a million ways you could tie this. I'm not really sure how I want to tie it right now because it's super long, but 
it is super pretty. So, all right, this is in my shop. I hope somebody finds or wants it in their home. It is so beautiful. This is fabric, just so pretty. It's like that distressed, grungy, <laughs> can't stop talking about it. All right, well, I will see you all in the next video. I still have mm, at least two, three, I have like three packages from other people with journals and I will uh, be sharing those in the next uh, few days but I wanted this one to have its own video since it's so unique and so huge.